Number 15. Tony Avinger is then Victor FC Bantamweight Champion. With the UFC Bantamweight division needing a new face in the division, she is definitely bound to make noise if she ever signed with the UFC. She has 17 wins and 6 losses in her professional mixed martial arts career. Number 14. Marlon Moraes is the World Series of Fighting Bantamweight Champion. He will definitely be a great addition to the UFC Bantamweight division and will definitely give trouble to the top 10 of the division. He has 17 wins, 4 losses and 1 draw in his professional mixed martial arts career. Number 13. Paul Daly is a welterweight fighter who fights for Bellator MMA. He was famously released from the UFC after hitting Josh Koscheck after his fight at UFC 113. Despite going 2-1 in the promotion, the UFC president Dana White said that he will never fight for the UFC ever again. Paul Daly is a knockout artist from the UK and will definitely put on great shows for the fans if Dana White changes his mind. He has 38 wins, 14 losses and 2 draws in his professional mixed martial arts career. Number 12. Douglas Lima is a welterweight fighter who fights for Bellator MMA. Douglas Lima is one of the most deadliest strikers outside the UFC and has a victory over Paul Daly. If he ever signed with the UFC, he will definitely give the UFC welterweights trouble. He has 26 wins and 7 losses in his professional mixed martial arts career. Number 11. David Branch is both the World Series of Fighting middleweight and light heavyweight champion. He made a stint in the UFC and was 2-2 in the promotion and was shortly released afterwards. Since then he has definitely improved his game tremendously and will do a lot better in his return. He has 18 wins and 3 losses in his professional mixed martial arts career. Number 10 Liam McGeary is the Bellator light heavyweight champion. With the UFC desperately needing top light heavyweights, Liam McGeary will definitely be a new face which is needed in the division as he is a well-rounded fighter and has a victory over MMA legend Tito Ortiz. He has an undefeated record of 11 wins with no losses in his professional mixed martial arts career. Number 9 Vitaly Minokov is the former Bellator heavyweight champion. He is one of the best heavyweights outside the UFC and has a victory over former UFC heavyweight Czech Congo. The UFC needing more heavyweights, Vitaly Minokov has all the tools to be successful in the UFC as he is a very skilled martial artist. He has an undefeated record of 18 wins with no losses in his professional mixed martial arts career. Number 8. Sergei Kharitanov is one of the best heavyweights ever who should have been in the UFC long time ago. He has notable victories over Andrei Arlovsky, Alistair Overeem and Fabrizio Vodum. He will definitely be a great addition to the UFC's heavyweight division. He has 23 wins and 5 losses in his professional mixed martial arts career. Number 7. Michael Chandler is the Bellator lightweight champion. He has a victory over the current UFC lightweight champion Eddie Alvarez and will definitely be able to compete with the elite of the UFC lightweight division. He has 15 wins and 3 losses in his professional mixed martial arts career. Number 6. Justin Gaethje is the World Series of Fighting lightweight champion. He has won majority of his fights by finishes and has a victory over former UFC fighter Melvin Gollard. He is a well-rounded talented fighter and definitely deserves to be in the UFC. He has an undefeated record of 16 wins and no losses in his professional mixed martial arts career. Number 5. Michael Page is a welterweight fighter who fights for Bellator MMA. He has a unique fighting style where he frustrates his opponents by dancing around in the cage and uses his distance to attack his opponents. He is often compared to the great Anderson Silva. He will definitely bring a lot of attention if he signed with the UFC. He has an undefeated record of 11 wins with no losses in his professional mixed martial arts career. Number 4. Andre Kreshkov is the Bellator welterweight champion. He is one of the best welterweights outside the UFC and has a victory over former UFC lightweight champion Benson Henderson. He would certainly do well in the UFC's welterweight division as he is a very talented well-rounded fighter. He has 17 wins and 1 loss in his professional mixed martial arts career. Number 3. Shinya Aoki is the 1FC lightweight champion. He may be the best lightweight outside the UFC. Majority of his wins have come by submission and has a victory over current UFC lightweight champion Eddie Alvarez. He is a very high level grappler who deserves to be in the UFC and would definitely give the UFC lightweights a run for their money. He has a professional record of 39 wins and 6 losses and one no contest in his professional mixed martial arts career. Number 2. Ben Askren is the 1FC welterweight champion. He may be the best welterweight outside the UFC as he is a former Olympic wrestler and a collegiate champion. Unfortunately, his grinding fighting style has made it difficult for him to get into the UFC. He has an undefeated record of 15 wins with no losses and one no contest in his professional mixed martial arts career. Number 1. Fedor Emelianenko may arguably be the best heavyweight of all time. He had one of the longest winning streaks in MMA heavyweight history with 27 consecutive wins in a row. He has notable wins over Antonio Rodrigo Noguera, Mirko Krokop, Mark Hunt, Tim Sylvia and Andrei Arlovsky. 
If he ever signed with the UFC, he would definitely bring a lot of attention and will definitely have success in the heavyweight division. He has 36 wins, 4 losses and 1 no contest in his professional mixed martial arts career.